been through a lot to get to this point, haven't you? Yeah. It, yeah, it's kind of been a long journey for sure. Uh, so you go to Nebraska. Yep. Because you're from Lincoln. Yep. And do you go as a quarterback? So I went in as a safety. Okay. Um, but I moved around all over the place once I got there. So, yeah, but I played quarterback in high school, all that. So then basically you're hurt until yeah. your senior year. Right, yeah, yeah. And then you have a great senior year. Yeah, I had probably six games in my junior year where I played well and got hurt, had hip surgery. And so it was kind of one of those deals where like I knew what I could do, but I also knew that I was only going to get one year probably to do it. And thankfully um, it worked out the way it did. It worked so, out really well. Yeah. And so the Cowboys bring you in as an undrafted and you're like yeah. the darling yeah. of, of mini camps and yeah. the preseason and it's going great yep. and you're going to make the opening day roster and everybody's fired up and did yeah. you hurt your ankle? I hurt my ankle in the first preseason game. Oh, yeah. but they kept you. They did. Honestly, I um, am very grateful for how they stuck with me through everything um, because who knows where I would could be, you know, had I had they not. So, um, but yeah, my rookie year was just kind of all over the place. Came came back after six or seven games from my ankle, and then broke my forearm like three games later. So, and then every year you've kind of built. Yeah. Is that fair to characterize yeah. your four years in Dallas? Yeah, for sure. I kind of understood what special teams was going to do for me, you know, and where and where it could get me. I knew that it was going to keep me around one and hopefully get me more opportunities. Um, so yeah, I think that I, once I realized that, that's kind of what kind of what drove me to where I am now. You played special teams so well for the Cowboys. Did they almost forget you could play linebacker? <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. We've had, we've had a lot of good linebackers there. Oh yeah. So it's one of those things where, yeah, obviously you want to be on the field, but I've also had the opportunity to learn from a lot of really good players um, and be in some good rooms around really good people. So there's definitely, yeah, obviously I'd like to be on the field more, but uh, I can definitely take a lot from that experience. Is it fair to say that you didn't come to the Titans with the idea of playing special teams only? Yeah, for sure. You know, I think I'm just, I'm a competitor, right? You know, I want to, I want the opportunity and, and chance to do more, you know, and whatever that may be, if whatever the, the coaches see for me, um, whatever that role is, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm going to own my role, but um, yeah, I definitely want to compete for that opportunity to be on the field more and help in any way I can. Your senior year at Nebraska, you had five and a half sacks. Yep. So you can rush the passer. <laughs> I was about 10 pounds heavier then, but I, I got a little bit of it in me. I haven't done it much since, but I got some of that. But you know Mike Vrabel and Shane Bowen right. like to use various people in packages according to the opponent. For sure. You think your skill set will allow you to be part, potentially at yeah. least, to be part of those packages. Yeah, I think so. I think one of my biggest assets that I've always had is just versatility. You know, I feel like I could play Sam, Mike, or Will and hopefully be on the field on third down, whether it's covering or, or pass rushing. So I, that was one thing that really intrigued me in the way that Coach Brabel um, talked to me and about what he saw possibly for my role. And so, yeah, I'm excited about that. Because you need verse with how linebackers are used today. Yeah you need versatility in that core, right? For sure, yeah. I think that that's just the way the game's moving. You kind of got to be able to do everything now, you know? And I think even the, the bodies and the way that typical linebackers look now is a lot different than what it did, you know, 10 years ago. So for sure, I think versatility is, is the biggest thing. It's a lot of former safeties yeah, playing linebacker. Yeah, it is. Yeah, most of the time I, I feel like it's those guys moving down, making the step down from safety to, to linebacker. So. I, and, you know, I have a little bit of that in my background. It was about 40 pounds ago, <laughs> but there's some of that in there. So, yeah, it's definitely the way it's moving. Though. Keep talking about your weight. Then what do you weigh? I'm, I'm like 240 right now. Oh, so I came into, yeah, I came into college at about 205 soaking wet. I was tall and skinny, so I'm a lot different than what I was then. But on teams, they describe you, oh, he's, he's a heat-seeking missile. Yeah. He loves the contact. Yeah. M most of the guys like that are shorter, stockier right. guys. You don't, you don't kind of strike me as yeah. that guy. Yeah, no, I don't, you know, I don't know. That's always just kind of been my identity since I've been in high school was I'm going to hit you in the mouth, you know. And, and I think that's, that's part of the reason why I think I identify so well with this organization is I think that's, that's what Coach Vrabel preaches, you know. So I felt like this was a really good fit for that.